Hello and welcome back to the online coaching course. This is where we're exploring the key skills of coaching. And in the last session, we looked at the GROW model, which is a roadmap to help us run a coaching session. And we noted that goal, reality, options, and way forward, i.e. take action, was a good coaching model. And it's probably one of the most popular coaching models we'll find within the coaching discipline. Okay, so that gives us an idea of a roadmap for coaching. But what about coaching sessions? How long should they last? How many sessions should there be? And what's in each of those sessions? Okay, so coaching. If you've ever done any coaching, or I guess you're starting to explore it here, or if you've ever been coached, it's an intensive process. It takes a lot of energy. So coaching sessions normally range from about 30 minutes to 60 minutes for optimal coaching time. Uh, any more than that, you become a little bit tired and exhausted both as a coach and as a coachee. Probably less than 30 minutes and there is some coaching games where we can get coaching down just through a few minutes, but normally about 30 minutes is a minimum you want to be able to do, depending on the context, etc. Yes. Okay, so then how many sessions? Well, that would be up to how you want to run the coaching sessions. So within a corporate scenario, I normally recommend about seven. Uh, outside of that, it could be ongoing to achieve the goal. But let's take our model of seven sessions. So the first session would be the intake session. This is where you explore what coaching is. You lay out the groundwork. You also lay out the rules of what coaching is and what coaching isn't, which we've explored in another video. And also make sure that coaching is the right process for this person. So when, that's why it was important for us to explore what is, the, what is coaching and what coaching is not. So for example, if somebody needs to have, see a therapist, they're probably not quite ready for coaching just yet. And then coaching would not be right for them. And it's better to discover that in the intake session than it would be later on as you get going. So that first session is you get to know each other, the wants and the needs, and is it appropriate? Then the first session. So you've had the intake session, we now move to the first session. The first session is about getting clarity around the goal what is the person working towards? Really, even if you take the whole first session to get that clarity around the goal, that will be key. And we'll, in the next video, we'll be exploring what, what is a goal, why did people do not set them, and how we could start to get somebody to explore goal setting. So see you in the next video then, but stay with us now. So then we want to have an action plan an action a way forward from that first session. Now as we move into coaching sessions two and three, what this will be, they'll be very similar. So first off, you need to see where somebody's got to from the last session. Have they achieved what they set out to achieve? Do they need to update their goal in any way? Are you, do you need to explore more options? Um, do you need to go over the realities again? and it's a way of keeping track of progress. And so if somebody hasn't achieved their goal, maybe what they set was a task that was just too big for them, or maybe they need to set a smaller step. Um, if they haven't achieved it, are they serious about the goal? Is it something that they want to do? Is there something else going on? Then as we move into coaching session four, this is kind of midway, just over midway in the coaching process if we've got seven sessions. And it's really good to do a review. Where have we got to? Let's take stock, which is always good to do. And then as we move into coachings five and six, they are very similar. So where you know, have you taken action on your last session? Have you been held accountable? Have you followed through? Do we need to update anything? Let's explore those. And quest and Session seven will be all about, okay, we've achieved what we set out to achieve. Let's celebrate. What did we learn along the way? And what are the next steps? So you'll see the diagram there. It gives us a flow of coaching sessions. 
So if you've got any questions as we go through this course, please do either email me, and my email address is there, or put them in the comments below. Uh, always happy to hear your questions. Yeah, as a coach, I think questions are good. Okay, in the next session, we're gonna to start to explore what is a goal, why is it important, and how can we set goals with our clients? So I will see you in the next video.